Bacterial vaginosis is a common infection of the genital tract. It is a polymicrobial vaginal infection involving reduction in the amount of lactobacilli bacteria and an overgrowth of anaerobic bacteria. The risk factors for bacterial vaginosis include multiple or new sexual partners, orogenital sex, smoking and genetic predisposition. What are the causative agents of bacterial vaginosis? Bacterial vaginosis is characterized by an overgrowth of predominantly anaerobic organisms like Gardneriella vaginalis, Prevotella species, Mycoplasma hominis and Mobiluncus species in the vagina. The normal vaginal flora are microorganisms that are always present on or in person and usually do not cause any disease. In bacterial vaginosis, a shift in normal vaginal flora from aerobic to predominantly anaerobic flora occurs and this characterizes the condition. This leads to replacement of lactobacilli and an increase in pH from normal of 4.5 to 7. When we study the pathogenesis of bacterial vaginosis, we come to know that the normal vaginal flora in women of reproductive age is predominantly lactobacilli. At puberty, estrogen levels increase. That stimulates the glycogen uptake by vaginal epithelial cells. Lactobacilli produce both lactic acid and hydrogen peroxide. Vaginal epithelial cells also produce lactic acid as a byproduct of glycogenolysis. This makes the vaginal pH acidic. The hydrogen peroxide is also toxic against other bacterial species. Lactobacilli per se are very low virulence bacteria. Probiotic is thought to have a protective effect. At menopause, estrogen levels decreases. The diagnostic tests for bacterial vaginosis includes Ansel criteria for diagnosing bacterial vaginosis which was introduced in 1984. According to Ansel criteria, at least three out of these four should be present for the diagnosis to be confirmed. Firstly, thin white homogeneous discharge. Secondly, clue cells on microscopy pH of vaginal fluid should be more than 4.5. Release of a fishy odor on adding alkali means 10% KOH. This test is rarely performed these days. So here you can see the epithelial cells and the clue cells. Another test is gram stain using Nugent's criteria. In this criteria, the lactobacillus, Gardnerella, bacteriides and mobiluncus are identified and scoring is given according to the number of these bacilli. Total score of more than 7 indicate bacterial vaginosis. 4 to 6 indicate intermediate stage of bacterial vaginosis. Here you can see mobiluncus species and curb gram-negative bacilli. The Hayes criteria was introduced in 2002. Grade 0 means epithelial cells with no bacteria. Grade 1 means normal vaginal flora, lactobacillus, morphotypes alone. Grade 2 reduced numbers of lactobacillus morphotypes with a mixed bacterial flora. Grade 3 mixed bacterial flora only few or absent lactobacillus morphotypes. Grade 4 gram positive cocci only. This chart very beautifully shows the differential diagnosis of vaginal discharge. In candidiasis, itching is present, smell may be yeasty, color is white, consistency curdy, pH may be less than 4.5 and confirmation is by microscopy and culture. In bacterial vaginosis, the smell is offensive or fishy, color is white or yellow, consistency is thin or homogeneous. Potassium hydroxide test is positive, pH is in the range of 4.5 to 7, confirmation is by microscopy. In trichomoniasis, itching or soreness is present, smell may be offensive, color yellow or green, consistency thin or homogeneous, potassium hydroxide test is positive or negative, pH is 4.5 to 7, confirmation is by microscopy and culture. In cervicitis, the color is clear or colored, consistency is mucoid, 
the other signs include purine and mucus at the cervical os potassium hydroxide test is negative ph is less than 4.5 the confirmation is by microscopy and test for chlamydia and gonorrhea the consequences of bacterial vaginosis include endometrial bacterial colonization endometritis premature labor postpartum fever post hysterectomy vaginal cuff cellulitis post abortal infection bacterial vaginosis is also a risk factor for hiv transmission and other stds vaginal wet mount sometimes called vaginal smear is a test to find the cause of vaginitis or inflammation of the vagina and the vulva the most common infections which causes vaginitis include bacterial vaginosis yeast infection and trichomoniasis management of bacterial vaginosis include metronidazole the dose is 400 to 500 mg twice daily for 5 to 7 days clindamycin cream topical ointment is prescribed for 7 days the nidazole 2 g once daily for 2 days or 1 g once daily for 5 days in alcoholics metronidazole is avoided because of disulfiram like action let us discuss the screening and treatment of asymptomatic infection generally asymptomatic infection not treated as patients often spontaneously improve and the therapy often complicated by symptomatic bacterial yeast infection treatment indicated for asymptomatic women who are about to undergo the gynae procedures in particular the termination of the pregnancy and in high risk pregnancies no evidence suggests that treating sexual partner of women with bacterial vaginosis is beneficial Bacterial vaginosis in pregnancy occurs in 15 to 30 percent of the cases. Why is bacterial vaginosis a particular problem in pregnancy? It is more common in pregnancy than in non-pregnant population. It is associated with premature labor and delivery. There is controversial association with miscarriage. It causes the postpartum endometriosis. However, treatment of bacterial vaginosis may not return these risks. Of risks to baseline levels benefits greater in those higher risk pregnancies now when to look for and treat bacterial vaginosis in pregnancy in asymptomatic high risk pregnant women by a pre by the previous history of preterm delivery we can consider screening these women for bacterial vaginosis even if asymptomatic there is no evidence for routine screening for bacterial vaginosis in pregnancy in all expectant mothers let us talk about bacterial vaginosis relapse 30% recurrence in 3 month 50% recurrence in 12 month long term suppressive antibiotics may be indicated when three or more episodes occur within a 12 month period this table shows the differences between bacterial vaginosis and trichomoniasis there is fish like order in the bacterial vaginosis and musty order in trichomoniasis in bacterial vaginosis there is thin or white homogeneous discharge whereas it is pale green watery discharge in case of the trichomoniasis the bacterial vaginosis usually doesn't cause dysuria dyspareunia pruritus or inflammation whereas trichomoniasis can cause tenderness dysuria dyspareunia and pruritus in bacterial vaginosis there is mild vulval irritation whereas there is vulval erythema and cervical petechiae in trichomoniasis In bacterial vaginosis the wet mount reveals bacteria coated epithelial cells whereas in trichomoniasis the wet mount reveals motile pear shaped flagellated protozoa There is no need to treat the partner in case of the bacterial vaginosis but we need to treat in case of trichomoniasis So thank you so much that was all about the bacterial vaginosis subscribe on obstetrics and gynae Allah Hafiz